So information security is uh, important not just because of uh, the risk mitigation uh, requirements. We've read about uh, breaches that are followed by class action lawsuits or regulatory action, but there's also opportunities. When a uh, customer engages a vendor, they want that vendor to be secure and credible and be taking appropriate measures with whatever information the customer is going to be giving to them. When we can stand up or when our customers can stand up and give uh, confidence really to our customers that their information is protected, that is a business opportunity. That's something that people are looking to their vendors to be able to say. So as in-house counsel, what we can do because we're close to the business is help the business understand risk and risk mitigation. And in this context, we can help understand where our confidential information resides, where our customer information resides, where our IP reside, and how we protect those critical assets. As we went out and uh, started to look into what the best way was for us to make sure that our information security was protected, uh, we found that the companies that do this best do it through a cross-functional team. Getting together people in a room who will bring in both the technical expertise and the business expertise. So CFO, your head of information security, uh, maybe a CTO, people who manage the critical data, um, possibly a general counsel, maybe someone from HR, uh, coming together to talk about where the information resides and what measures uh, should be taken in order to make sure the information is protected. One of the important aspects we found as we went through our process is that we need to have uh, a common language. We need to um, be able to have people from these, uh, this multidisciplinary background uh, come into the room and say, you know, tell me what's improved, tell me where uh, we're, we're more exposed today than we were a month ago. And so our cross-functional team spent a lot of time working on how are we going to talk about risk, how are we going to talk about security, and how do we really measure uh, the improvements and uh, new risks as they come into the organization. As we've seen the information security practices mature within an organization, both here and other places, I think the evolution that we've seen is uh, more sophisticated and better, more consistently enforced policies being put in place. To put in place a policy that's really effective, it, al it always requires a partnership between the IS team and the legal team, in my view, to really be effective. And we work together to make sure that what we're doing is not just a piece of paper that's filed in a drawer and no one looks at it again, that it's actually something that's implemented, that people are thoughtful about, and impacts the, uh, does the right things for the business, accomplishes what we're trying to accomplish within um, our business situation.